ADHD is the second most prevalent psychiatric disorder in adults. Now, let me see a show of hands on how many people had more than two lectures in their training program. One, maybe three hands. I got one in the front and one in the back. And don't think for a second if you're sitting in the back, I can't see you. That's the problem. Nobody's been trained. How do you know how to do the evaluation? Where do you insert it in your evaluation? When do you decide to do that evaluation? These are the patients you're not identifying, but they are clearly in your practice. We talked about there are no specific guidelines, but the recent meta-analysis, I said, shows that methylphenidate is probably the first choice for children and adolescents, and amphetamines is the first choice for adults. Does that mean that I use amphetamines only in my adults? Absolutely not. I continue to prescribe methylphenidate because I want a clinical balance. I want to come to my clinical impression of what the research would be indicating I should do. Because sometimes research, as pretty as it appears to be, may not always turn out to be accurate. And I'm going to give you some examples. And so as you hear me talking, what I'm trying to teach you is how to be critical thinkers of the information that you're being provided. When I was young, I thought that what was said was very important. And as I've gotten older, I've come to understand that what's not said is even more important. 